Kim, thanks. It's a big day today for General Motors. The company released its numbers for the last three months, and from the looks of it, the company is starting to bounce back from those massive supply chain issues from the pandemic. Business editor Rod Maloney is going beyond the numbers to show us what this means, not just for GM, but for the industry that drives our region. There is so much to like about this General Motors third quarter report. Wall Street certainly did. Let's go up to Drone 4 and show you that we've seen for the last couple of years now General Motors having to store its vehicles in large quantities because they couldn't move them without computer chips. Well, come back to the parking lot here in Auburn Hills and you notice there's a whole lot more blacktop here because they are moving these vehicles. They're getting up to full production now. GM reported nearly three and a half billion dollars in net income, a billion more than this time last year. That came on revenue, money coming in the door, shooting up by more than 50 percent from 27 to 41 billion dollars. CEO Mary Barra telling shareholders, quote, we're delivering on our commitments and affirming our full year guidance despite a challenging environment because demand continues to be strong for GM products and we are actively managing the headwinds we face, end quote. Cox Auto Analyst Michelle Krebs is encouraged. They are seeing uh, a lot of improvement in the chip situation. And we can definitely see that in the inventory numbers. There, there's much more availability for new car buyers now. Krebs points out GM's U.S. sales improved by 25 percent, selling more than half a million vehicles, slashed incentive spending by more than half, and the average transaction price is a sky-high $52,000. GM wants to keep those high prices and profitability, but traditional auto industry problems could threaten in 2023. They've been pleased that they've gotten through this really difficult, unusual time we've been in. Uh, but I think that they are maintaining um, cautious optimism for next year. Now, one of the things that is eye-popping is that $52,000 average transaction price. Uh, all of the car makers are seeing those kinds of numbers, and it is forcing some people out of the new car market, which in many ways is helping keep the used car market having high prices as well. Now, in the meantime, Ford tomorrow reports their Stellantis next week, and we'll get a better look at the entire industry in terms of what this all means and how they are doing as well back to you. Rod, you said Wall Street liked GM's report. How did the stock do today? Uh, it was up $1.29 today, and that's an awfully good day for General Motors. They haven't mm -hmm. seen that in quite some time. Very good. Okay, Rod, thanks.